Check out the latest update from SpaceX. In this exciting YouTube video, you'll get all the details about their plans to double the tower at Starbase. Get ready for some thrilling action as they prepare for a Starship double launch. This is an extremely ambitious goal mentioned by Elon Musk, founder of SpaceX. If it comes true, it will be a great feat that has never happened before. To achieve that goal, besides upgrading rockets, SpaceX is also promoting the construction of important infrastructure at Starbase like production and testing facilities. While a flight isn't anticipated this month, SpaceX's Starbase is gearing up for a series of ground tests in the near future. New road closures have been scheduled, one on the 8th of December from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m., and two more on the 11th and 12th, both from 8 in the morning to 8 in the evening. In particular, there is another system that is also very important, which is the launch system. SpaceX currently has a launch tower system at the launch site. However, a single system will not be enough to meet the huge workload of the future. SpaceX will need many such launch towers. In fact, SpaceX has taken many actions to prepare and build new launch systems. So we will take a look at the progress SpaceX is making with the construction of their new launch tower systems and its impact in today's in this episode we're going to unravel the latest upgrades and tweaks SpaceX has in store for their Starship. Don't miss out on this incredible journey into space. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. St Perhaps many of us are still sunk about the impressive moments that the Starship IFT-2 flight created. Not only did it make new strides, this flight created a strong unlock for the entire Starship project. Based on that, this project will enter an even stronger acceleration stage to be able to meet more important deadlines like NASA's Artemis program in the next two to three years or landing the first Starship on Mars within four years. Before participating in the official race, SpaceX may deal with many challenges. Maybe next year, they will have to launch up to four or five missions if these are approved. Further into the future, SpaceX must launch thousands of starships every year as Elon Musk said at the International Astronautical Congress in October. To meet those deadlines, SpaceX will have to ramp up a lot of work, including production and launch process. On the production stage, we can see SpaceX is rushing to complete construction of the Star Factory at the production site. This factory model is based on Tesla's car factory. With this system, SpaceX will begin switching to Starship mass production mode to be ready for every mission. But after production is complete, how is SpaceX going to launch a large number of Starships? Currently, there's only one system that can do that, which is the Orbital Launch System or Stage 0 at the launch site. But it certainly cannot handle all tasks alone. It needs other launch towers to help share the huge workload. In addition, it will also be a precaution in case the launch tower has some problems. On the last flight, the launch system worked well and there was no major damage. However, in the future, as Starship becomes more powerful and has a higher launch frequency, we cannot be sure it won't encounter problems. That's why the construction of a new launch tower at Starbase is extremely important and necessary. But how is the progress of building the launch tower going? Just four days after the first orbital test flight, there are signs that SpaceX is transporting the first parts of the launch tower to Starbase. The next day, the second and third parts also came respectively. These parts are considered to come from the launch system in Florida, where SpaceX is also building another Starship launch system. It's expected that other parts will also be gradually transported here. Currently, SpaceX has not made any official announcement about plans to build a second launch tower. It's also unclear whether they will build the new tower at Starbase. However, it can be predicted that they will still build it in the orbital launch site area close to the current launch tower because the area there is still quite large and convenient for future launch work. Regarding the construction process, work is expected to take place quickly. With the first launch system, SpaceX took more than 13 months to complete construction. With gained experience, the construction of the new launch tower can be completed much faster, even in half the time compared to the previous system. If SpaceX starts construction soon, perhaps the new launch system could be ready to go into operation around late next year or early 2025. Of course, we still need to wait for their official decisions. In fact, besides Starbase Texas, SpaceX is also building another launch tower in Florida. This launch tower was built near the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launch towers at Pad LC-39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The plan to build this launch tower originally began at the end of 2019, but after a year, 
construction work was delayed because SpaceX wanted to create a new design with rockets and launch systems. It wasn't until the end of 2021 the construction process was restarted. The process of building this launch tower still encountered many problems, mainly from NASA because the agency was concerned that Starship may impact other vehicles here, especially Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Dragon flights, which will still serve many important NASA missions like the ISS mission. However, SpaceX still made great strides. In just over a year, SpaceX has completed improvements in foundation construction, conversions, and building of important systems like the cryogenic fuel storage system, plumbing, and most importantly, the launch tower stacking process. Besides with the launch tower, the orbital launch mount was also built with a water deluge system installed below. In the last year, SpaceX engineers designed a Mechazilla arm structure similar to the structure at Starbase Texas. By early this year, this arm was installed on the launch tower. This arm will still perform tasks like lifting up and down, stacking the Starship, and especially catching the Super Heavy and Starship when they land for reuse after that. Like the first launch system, both new launch systems, especially the second one in Starbase, will have great potential. It'll undertake many important tasks, especially the Artemis mission. That would be a mission that wouldn't allow any mistakes. Hence, besides upgrading the vehicle, the new launch system is also very important. If new launch towers are built and completed soon, SpaceX will have a basis to further promote the testing process, thereby they can soon reach orbit and gradually enter stable operation. To be ready for the above missions. Like the previous launch tower, SpaceX's new launch tower is also a model for SpaceX's cost savings. To build each such launch system, SpaceX seems to spend less than $100 million. Its construction speed is also quite fast, only about one year with the first launch tower and it'll be even faster in the future. In addition, SpaceX's launch tower is suitable for many versions like cargo, crew, or fuel transporting versions. It can completely serve the SpaceX Starship project for a long time. To clarify that potential, we can compare them to NASA's mobile launch towers. Each NASA launch tower costs about $1 billion, 10 times more expensive than SpaceX's system. Moreover, these launch towers are designed only for a certain version. For example, the ML-1 launch tower can only be used for the SLS Block 1 version while the upcoming SLS Block 1B version will have to use the new tower ML-2. William takes a lot of time. For example, ML-1 took more than five years to finish and the construction of ML-2 has lasted three years from July 2020. That means NASA's spending too much money and time on an expensive system that can only be used a few times. Additionally, this launch tower will still represent the reuse strategy that SpaceX applies. With special structures, especially the Mechazilla arm, it'll not only stack and launch but it'll also catch Starship and Super Heavy when they land and then refurbish and reuse. It'll be a virtuous cycle that will help SpaceX deploy missions faster and more efficiently. It can be said that SpaceX launch systems are showing more comprehensiveness than any current system. Therefore, SpaceX's launch tower system could become a model for all future systems. It can be said that building a second launch tower at Starbase Texas will be extremely important for SpaceX. Moreover, it will also have a huge impact on the aerospace industry. The construction of the second launch tower helps SpaceX continue to accelerate and soon achieve its important goals. A new launch tower will also be a good basis for SpaceX's development strategy. From that, it will become a model for other companies to learn and apply. After that second launch tower, there may be a third, fourth launch tower and more to be built. Many and many launch towers will appear behind the sign with a message gateway to Mars that SpaceX just installed. That will be the new holy land of the aerospace industry. A great departure point for humans to begin their campaign to conquer the profound universe. Furthermore, emphasizing the readiness of the spacecraft, Musk noted that there are three ships in final production in the high bay visible from the highway indicating the scale and immediacy of SpaceX's preparations for the upcoming flight. A primary concern for SpaceX remains engine reliability. Musk himself acknowledged the difficulties in a November 26 email to SpaceX employees, describing the situation as a production crisis that was much worse than initially reported. The crisis was so severe that it led to a warning of potential bankruptcy if the issues couldn't be resolved as they could impact the deployment of the next generation of Starlink satellites and overall company finances. 
this challenge has created a production crunch as SpaceX plans a series of test flights of Starship aiming to enable commercial operations to begin. Musk highlighted the importance of achieving a high Starship flight rate for the company's financial stability. He mentioned a target of at least one flight every two weeks for the next year to avoid the risk of bankruptcy. This ambitious launch rate is crucial for deploying the second generation of Starlink satellites, which are vital for the company's financial strength. In addressing these challenges, SpaceX may consider significant overhauls to the Raptor engines. The development of new engines that address these reliability issues potentially eliminating the need for heat shields would represent a major step forward. This could include increased thrust and other enhancements to meet the demanding requirements of SpaceX's ambitious goals. The Raptor engine, a family of full-flow stage combustion cycle rocket engines, is a key component of the Starship system. These engines are powered by cryogenic liquid methane and liquid oxygen. The Raptor engine boasts about triple the thrust of SpaceX's Merlin 1D engine, which powers the Falcon 9 and Falcon. Heavy Launch Vehicles Moreover, the Raptor engine is notable for being only the third engine in history designed to use a full-flow stage combustion cycle and the first to actually power a vehicle. The Raptor engine's design also utilizes deep cryogenic propellants, cooled to near their freezing points to increase propellant density and engine performance. This design choice enhances specific impulse and reduces the risk of cavitation at inputs to the turbo pumps. Musk has revealed ambitious target performances for the Raptor, including a vacuum-specific impulse of 382 seconds and a chamber pressure of 300 bar. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member. So click on our perks through the link in the description below. Thanks to watching and see you next time. By the way, are you familiar Talk Talk Philippines app? Talk Talk is a delivery service app designed to connect more people by delivering items door to door. For more information, download the TalkTalk Talk app, here down below.